Hi, this is uh, Lennox Cool Dude again. Um, actually, I have an update to a previous video, which was webcams on Mac and Linux. Uh, this is for the uh, Logitech C910 webcam. Uh, I've, I've been kind of doing some little research uh, around the internet, and there's actually uh, another guy called Mark Johnson uh, from TTFN.TV, and he uses, you know, Wirecast for his show and various cameras and things like that. And he actually had a uh, kind of a little mini review on the C910 on Mac as well. And uh, he made pretty much the same initial assessments as I did. Um, uh, for him, the color uh, the colors were off and had some whiteness problems. And it, uh, the camera for him didn't seem to go into high definition. Um, uh, it seemed to only be in standard definition mode. And I kind of seen uh, seen the same things as well, um, but it is still be it's able to go into widescreen though, which is a good thing. And uh, I decided actually to check it out on the Logitech um, forums on the Logitech site, and um, this came from the Logitech product team saying that um, uh, at this time they do not have. Um, HD compatible software for Mac right now. It's only for Windows PCs. And uh, now I did, um, I, mean, I I did this earlier a couple of days ago, actually before I made my first video. And uh, their website was down, so I wanted to check um, to see if they happen to have drivers for their, um, you know, the webcam and software. And uh, I went there today, and they actually did. And um, now, if if you look off the box, um, it doesn't even mention Mac compatibility on the even on the box, but on the website it does support it because it's a UVC compliant webcam which works in uh, Linux and Mac. Of course, only for basic functionality. Um, yeah, even the uh, CD software um, that came in the box um, didn't have any Mac drivers. It only uh, had Windows. Uh, I'm not sure why they did that. I suppose they just kind of ma made Mac an afterthought, I guess. Or or they didn't have time to um, put the drivers for Mac or the software on, on the CD. And I'm kind of doubting even that they're really drivers itself. It's just really software, wh what it seems. Um, let me see, I had a couple more things. Um, now, I did install the software. Um, I was thinking maybe there was drivers where I could, you know, improve the quality of the uh, C910 under uh, Mac at least. And uh, it, really, I think it's, like I said before, I don't think it's drivers, you know, the needed drivers, but the software itself. It did have like um, two different soft, uh, camcorder software packages. One was for like, um, like kind of like FaceTime or Skype, uh, you know, video calls. For some reason that didn't install, but I didn't really want to install that anyway. I've got other software to do that. It did have like a basic um, webcam program, which I did like. Um, it had, you know, um, automatically updates and, you know, a couple of neat features. The only thing is no controls for color or brightness or balance or nothing. So if you record under that, obviously just be in standard definition and the colors were off. Um, which is a, a big problem. And C910 doesn't seem to be supported in iMovie either. Uh, not good. Now, um, at least under Wirecast, uh, it does um, have a way to adjust it out. Uh, it seems, you know, I think it had like four controls, which is uh, saturation, brightness, contrast, and sharpness. Now, originally when I was using it, um, it had like a yellow tinge. And I was able to adjust that out and uh, get a pretty decent picture uh, in standard definition. I had to uh, adjust the saturation and contrast, and at least it makes it more acceptable. Uh, but besides that, um, hopefully they're going to add better support for at least Mac. I know Linux still, uh, they're not going to give all the you know software for, uh, you know, to make it into HD. Okay, I figured I'd just uh, let you guys know on the uh, updates for that. And until next time, see you later.